This video is brought to you by Squarespace. It is no secret that I have been a fan of one wheeling for years. I've got about 8,000 miles under my belt at this point. But here's the thing, I've never actually had an opportunity to see how I stack up against some of the best riders in the world until now. You see, every year, Future Motion holds an event called Race for the Rail, and it's a race to see who is the fastest one wheel racer on the planet. And this year, I get to go. So tomorrow morning, Nick and I are jumping on an airplane. We're heading out to Utah to go to some undisclosed mountain location where the race for the rail will occur. It is Thursday, 8 a.m. We're at LEX. The race is on Sunday, Sunday afternoon. So I've got a few days to do last minute practicing. I have been training my butt off for the last two straight weeks. I've been one wheeling at least 10 to 15 miles every single day. The most advanced trails that I know of, just doing them at like speed runs, right? This is a brand new, unopened One Wheel XR. This is the board that every single racer will be using. We are not keeping these things. Only the 12 riders were allowed in this meeting, so Nick was not allowed in there. I had to put my phone in a bag and hand it to them, so I didn't have a phone that whole time. It was middle school PE class all over again for me. These challenges will be team challenges. Basically, they chose two team captains, and each of those team captains did a draft. I want that person. The next person goes, I want this person. Back and forth until all of the racers have been chosen. I knew the moment this whole thing started, I was gonna get picked last. So I accepted it. I was like, all right, pick me last. But even that was robbed for me because I was picked second to last. And I can't fault them for that because you know why? None of them have ever ridden with me before. I'm an actual true wild card in this race because no one actually knows my skill set. I think I have the skills to win this race. However, so does every single other person in that room. I'm going up against some of the fastest racers in the world. Dom Williams is the reigning race for the rail champion. At just 16 years old, he's already one of the fastest racers the world has ever seen. Dave Stewart is the 2018 world champion. Almost as fast as he is humble, Tahoe Dave is a force to be reckoned with on a one wheel. Bodie Harrison is a one wheel trick master and speed demon. However, he has yet to win a championship and is now hungry for the win. Angel Cooper was the 2019 women's race champion. And with women and men racing together this year, she's ready to defend her title. Jeff and Raquel McCosker are the closest thing to royalty the one wheel sport has. Not only are they both incredibly talented technical riders and racers, but they founded the Float Life as a way to broaden the community and provide accessories that make the one wheel even better. Zoe Thomas is scary fast. Don't let her young age fool you. She knows how to send it, winning the Grom division in 2019. Ori Rush takes to the skies higher than any other rider. When he's not mastering flight fins, he's leaving the other racers in his dust. In addition to the eight racers invited by Future Motion, four more racers were selected through a wildcard competition based on public voting. Amanda Thompson hails from Boston and is well known for shredding trails and sharing the stoke. Jamie Jetcher is actually one of my oldest one-wheeling friends. As the Husky division champ, don't be deceived by his size. Few people are faster than him. Brendan Shermeyer is another LA friend of mine. He's all heart and even more skill. He's determined to prove that he's the fastest rider alive. And then there's me. We got chosen onto teams. So the next two days, there are gonna be three events that we all do as teams, culminating in a fourth event, which will be Sunday, which will be the live streamed full on race for the rails. But I'm feeling something. Maybe it's nerves. Maybe it's the fact that this is suddenly real and I'm actually here. <sighs> okay, that is. Ugh. This is the only time I ever feel comfortable oh doing God. this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that was safe to do, probably. Are you serious right now? Are you doing, Ren? Come on. 
Not everyone was happy about the fact that we have to use a completely stock board. I kind of agree with Future Motion here. I don't think anything is more fair in a race than everyone using the exact same brand new tire. Let's tally up what I need to do tonight. I need to install these parts. I need to actually start breaking in the tire as much as I can in the next hour or so. And then I just need to get as much sleep as possible. And then a healthy breakfast in the morning. All right, you got your board? Nick, you got your board? You got your board? I gotta go get my toast. <sighs> this is actually it, it's actually here. The first event is an hour away. Honestly, this first race is gonna be very telling. So we don't actually know what this first event is gonna be. We have to have our boards at 50%. We're going to the top of a mountain. <laughs> Just spin the camera around for a moment. Look at what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> the way I earned my spot here was through public voting. And because of my nature as an online personality, I, I wield this form of influence and I was basically able to utilize that to get people to vote for me, to get me into the wildcard race, which is exactly what Future Motion had in mind. Someone would always have some sort of social media advantage with the number of followers they have. But what that means is that I haven't actually physically earned my spot here. And if I get last place, I will have proven that I didn't deserve to be here. So I have to make sure I don't get last place. We got freshies. Freshies are yuck. You gotta get it worn out the good stuff. A stock Vega tire that comes on a brand new one wheel has very sharp corners. So it feels like you're literally riding like a kitchen rolling pin. It has a lot of turn resistance. It's kind of hard to turn. And if you hit a rock underneath that corner, it'll kind of throw you. So what we're all doing here is we're basically just spinning out the tire on the ground to grind down those corners. Just kind of like shave off the corners a little bit. So we have a more rounded profile. These guys know how to do every trick in the book. I'm trying to do this trick. Ah, come on. Ah, dang it! What I want to do is like just kind of go a little bit and then, but then I, I fall off like that, right? What Bodhi was saying, yeah. you lean your lower half forward but your shoulders backwards, so it's like. Well, it's hard to commit. Yeah, no, you almost got it. Ooh. Yeah! Try to do three seconds. Three seconds, ready? One, two, three! Yeah, man! <laughs> nice! Okay. I was gonna say, if you weighed like a little more than me, we could both ride a board on each foot pad. We oh, should man. still try it. I've ridden doubles on a one wheel for a long time, but I've always wanted to ride doubles with one person on each foot pad. Ten feet, just like Titanic style. I think today's the day and Ren's the guy. Oh, snap! Come on, baby! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, get on, and then we got one. Oh, <laughs> oh almost. No, I think almost this is actually kind of working. Almost. Three. Yeah. yeah, come on. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> turn, turn left, turn left. Oh my god! We're doing it for oh. real! This one's for you, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go fast. No! <laughs> oh, God! Good you wants to go fast. <laughs> oh, okay! Okay! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Dude! Yes. Oh, yeah! Oh, oh man! Oh, my gosh! So you've never done that before? Nah, dude. Oh, wow! Dude. New unlock! Hell, yeah! <laughs> I feel honored, that was amazing. Dude, I'm pumped on that. Yeah, that's yeah, how you start the turn. day, dude. <laughs> hey, you guys should really just race like that. I think you're like a team at this point. Dude, dude we just, do need we'll to just downhill race dude. like that. <laughs> Ren here from the future. Spoiler alert, I'm alive. And if you wanna know if I win the race or not, well, you'll have to wait a minute here because right now, I wanna talk about Squarespace. If you're looking to build a website or online store, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to make it happen. They even have the marketing tools and analytic resources to help optimize your business for the visitors you already have and the ones you want to find. With simultaneous posting and multiple contributors, it's easier than ever to post content stress-free. You can post to multiple different socials all at the same time or have different people all contributing to your brand. You can embed podcasts on your site through audio blocks or even just set up an email campaign if you wish too. And best of all, you own all of the content that you put on Squarespace. Oh. 
So go to squarespace.com to get your free trial. And if you're ready to buy a domain name, go to squarespace.com slash corner crew to get 10% off your first domain. Oh boy. Now you know why I have all these holes in my shirt. All right, back to the race. This is the official start for the event for Race for the Rail 2020. Yeah, we're gonna be taking the gondola up to the top of the mountain. It's not running right now, but they're gonna turn it on for us. It's gonna be a little intense. I've never done any sort of sport at a professional level, so this is very new to me, and I'm excited. It's very cool. I like all the racers. They're all cool people. The competitive spirit is strong. At this point, it's not about getting last place. It's about not letting my team down. Team Skyline for the win. Okay, race is about to start. Team Skyline, my team, we're going first. And the whole idea here is that everyone on this team has to cross the finish line for our timer to end. This is first descent. You're at 9,500 feet. You have about 4,000 feet to go. The first complete team to the bottom wins. We stress that teamwork is going to be important. We have to build each other up. We have to help each other get down. Three, two, one, go! Oh, there's already carnage. They're, they're wasting time. These guys are wasting time. Okay, this track is extremely gnarly. There are so many loose rocks. So I'm currently in the front. I'm basically scouting the trail, finding good lines, and informing everyone behind me which line is the best. Stick inside, stick to the right. Right side, right side. But we're all trying to go as fast as we can. Riders in view, Team Skyline sticking together. It looks like all six riders are there. Here they come, crossing the finish line together. This is what it is all about. What is that, son? Woo! Yeah! Woo! You got this! Woo! Woo! Yeah. Top of that was some of the gnarliest yeah, stuff I have ever huh? done. Dude, I did a freaking front flip up there. It was just nothing but giant, like, knobbly rocks. Yeah. I, our biggest mistake up at the top uh -huh. was trying to bomb it too fast yeah. right, out, right yeah. out of the gate. Because once we actually started being a little bit more careful, yeah. we were able to not fall. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was so gnarly. And I was like, I was really glad that we could uh, have the first event be something where we weren't going full throttle, yeah. like eating crap all yeah. over the place. Find our find our groove and get in a good state of mind for the rest of the event. I think I at least earned myself a little bit of trail cred because these guys know how gnarly that trail was and they know that I did it too. Wow. Our final time for Team Skyline was 23 minutes, two seconds. So Team Delarian just has to beat that to beat us. Yep. Oh, Looks like Dom is there in the front. He's coming around the corner. I knew like I was And I he's about to he's about to cross the finish line here. Final time for the delirium, 19 minutes and 56 seconds. Good game, good game, good game. Now on to the team enduro, where riders will charge uphill before entering technical single track, looping around to see their team at the exposed finish. We'll see who can take the lead out on this one and who is the fastest single track rider. The second race here, you can't go full speed. There's gonna be all these big knobbly rocks in the path, so it's gonna be a bit more of a measured ride. I'm excited for this. I feel way better about this race than I did earlier because there are fewer unknowns. I'm prepared for this now. Brendan came riding in hot, just at the best time with eight minutes and 46 seconds. Yeah. Hey man, Woo! getting those nerves going. Yeah. Getting those nerves going. Yeah. It's almost as bad as the TED talk. That was that was worse. That was worse. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Here comes Ren in three, two. One, go! This race started off great, actually. I was doing really well. I was making good time even, too. I hadn't fallen off my board yet, but then the unthinkable happened and my legs started cramping up. Turns out at this altitude, my body needs a lot more oxygen than it was getting. went down the hill. Oh. No, you had to chase it? Yep, most of it was fast. I think I was probably tr trying to go a little too fast through parts. I hit a rock, oh sh no! Bonk off of it and land on the front side of the next rock and it would just stop my board dead. Those bumps good, knobbly bits bad. 
Yeah. Good race, man. Man, they weren't kidding when they called that the endurance race. That was the gnarliest trail. It is so gnarly. I knew about two thirds of the way through the race that I wasn't doing well. In fact, I actually did better than I thought. I was really hoping for a sub nine minute. Instead, I just barely got a sub 10 minute. It is what it is. I'm still happy with my time. I didn't get last place. I still have two more opportunities to redeem myself. I have tomorrow, whatever event that'll end up being. We'll find out like basically as we're starting. And then there's the big race on Sunday, the actual official race. All right, but for now, it's time for dinner. We don't have any events in the morning. And time to relax for the rest of the day. Day one definitely shook my confidence about whether or not I deserve to be here, but regardless, going into day two, I'm focused and I'm ready to go. Okay, it is day two, and I honestly kind of feel like I was hit by a truck. I am so sore. My thighs are burnt. I'm bruised all over from the multiple falls I took, and it's been just really crazy. I'm still just coming to terms with not being as fast as the fastest few riders. Maybe they're gonna have us drop off a cliff or something. I mean, we don't know. Anything could happen. I hear it's a heavy drop from the summit, bro. <laughs> Feeling good to go. This is it. Team Skyline, take the back. Let's go to the gondola. We got our 13 challenge today. Let's do it. This course is fast, it's techy, it's quick. It's a relay. We'll see what we got. Team Delirium up 2-0 on Skyline. All right, we just scouted the course. I think this is gonna be easier than yesterday by far. This is a relay race. One person goes at a time and the next person can't start until the person behind them finishes. Team Delirium, the other team, is going first on this round. Dave Sewer just laid down 206 on the opening lap for Skyline. That's a very compelling time. That puts them in the position they need to win this event and they need it. They're down 0-2. Go, go, go. Go, Man, this is a fun trail. I tell you what, I felt on top of it this round. I, like this part right here, sped through that, felt good. Coming around this corner felt great too. And just like that, I finally earned my spot here at Race for the Rail. I got fourth place out of 12 with only Dom, Bodie, and Dave beating my time of two minutes and 10 seconds. Not gonna lie, I feel really vindicated after that race. I mean, I was feeling like I didn't deserve to be here at all, let alone placing a really good time. So at this point, I don't even care how the final race goes. I, I feel so proud about how I did today. Are you kidding me? This has been a crazy three days here. Team Delirium coming away and sweeping all three team challenge events of the team portion. Race for the Rail 2020 starts right now. Grab your popcorn, get the big screen started, and let's get this party going. Well, Ted, today we got the best riders. They're at the top of the mountain right now, and uh, one of them is gonna leave here as the champion. The energy is high. People are stoked, and I can't wait for to watch this race go down. I think Ren deserves to be here. I think he's proved that yesterday. Yeah. And this is his chance to show that he's a serious rider, and I think um, I expect him to come out and do that. So I'm gonna be going head-to-head -head with Dom, with Angel, and with Brendan. Everyone is expecting Dom to win here, so honestly, I'm just racing for second place. Brendan is a fantastic rider. I ride with him all the time down in LA. It almost feels like fate. I'm glad we're going first. <laughs> yeah, yep. As long as Dom goes down, we can both go up. Dude, you I'd be happy with saying? that, yeah. Nice little twist at the end. Go celebrate until you cross those arches. Huh? Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Let's do a triple nux. LA represent! Yeah. yeah, one at a time and feel it out. Dude, this course has some familiar right. stuff, some new stuff, and all of its sketch. I was definitely nervous going into the final race for the rail. It's the big televised event. Everyone's tuning in. All my friends are watching. Yeah, we have a full broadcast here. We have 12 camera switch feed with wireless. It's it's gonna be a good time. First round, we have Dom Williams, Angel Cooper, Brandon Schurmeyer, and Ren Weichman. Woo! And they're yeah. off. Oh my gosh, Dom is in the lead position. Let's see, we got Dom. It looks like we got Brandon Schurmeyer, and then it looks like we got Ren and Angel in the back. It's top three, kind of separating top two. It looks like it's Dom and Brandon Schurmeyer. Here we see Angel Cooper in the rear. Let's see if Ren could put himself back in position. I was right behind them, but the problem is that their dust was making it really hard to see the ground. And I tried my best to keep up, but then sure enough, I got stuck in a bit of a chunky spot. And I knew the moment I jumped off, it was over. There was no way I was gonna be able to recover from that. Oh hey, my here we gosh. Go. Brandon Schurmeyer coming around. AKA Floaty McFly. Look at this pass. Yes. yes oh my yes. gosh. 
Dom off his board. Brendan Schurmeyer is in the lead. Let's see if Dom can catch him. Ren Weichman is in third. Blasted by us, he's still ripping. Wow, holy smokes. Brendan Schurmeyer, if he can hold Dom off, he may finish this race first. Are you kidding me? Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with Heat One winner, Brendan Schurmeyer. Dude. That's it. Boy, this whole race day today was filled with upsets. Everyone was expecting Dom to win, but Brendan came through and overtook him twice to win his heats. Round two was filled with people we didn't quite expect. Everyone expected Dom to be there. Everyone expected Bodhi to be there, but Jamie to win his heat and be there as well, that was cool. Jeff was able to get a huge lead right out of the gate, but Jeff did go down really hard, flying into frame with crazy style. But it did cost him the race, and he ended up not making it past that heat. This would be an insane upset right here. Brendan Schurmeyer from Los Angeles, California, looking over his shoulder, and he is going to the next round. Don Williams is out of the race, Ted, and nobody saw this coming. Total domination, baby, let's go! And it looks like Dave Stewart is punching his ticket to the finals with Brendan Schurmeyer. All these upsets led to the final round. We have my friend Brendan against my new friend Dave. Tahoe Dave and Brandon Schirmeyer, it's all smiles at the top. Right Out of this off. start, it's neck and neck. You gotta say Tahoe Dave is a little bit ahead of Brandon Schirmeyer. Brandon Schirmeyer hot on his trail. You don't want to fall right behind because of that dust. Bodie Harrison ran into that already. Tahoe Dave blasting down there and Brandon Schirmeyer right on his tail. We are in the finals, folks. One of the Damn. two of these riders is gonna be crowned champion. Walk home today with $5,000 in the bank. They gotta stay on their boards here, Ted. We've seen people fall in this stretch before. What a tight race we have so far. Dave Let's cut see. him off. Dave cut him off. That's a veteran move. Brandon is going for a pass. Brandon is passing. Pa oh, Bloody's oh, oh, passing him. Oh, oh, oh my God, they're neck and neck. What? They're neck and neck. Oh my God, Floaty. That lead, oh my God. I don't think Dave can come back from that now. That's a huge lead. He's into the gravel straights. Brandon is into the gravel straights. Onto the single track. He is in control, gets uh -oh. onto the grass. If he doesn't mess up, here, here, if he doesn't coming. crash, here are they coming? Come. Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Oh my gosh! Oh, sorry, guys. Let's, go. Go this way. let's go this way. Let's go! Go! Go, <laughs> go buddy! Brendan Schreier on the pavement Holy first. Holy shit. Yeah. On to the final stretch. Woo! Don't celebrate your game, bro. And Brendan Schurmeyer of Los Angeles, California is taking home the 2020 Race the Rail Championship. Oh my goodness. Floaty just won. Brendan just won Race for the Rail. Even though our team didn't win, I am so beyond happy for Brendan here. This is so cool. No one expected Brendan to win. He was a wild card. He wasn't even selected to come. And here he is with the grand champion nunchucks. Oh my God. Oh my God. What an incredible race. What an amazing event. Huge congrats to Brendan. Floaty McFly on Instagram. Give him a follow. He deserves it. He's the world champ after all. Huge thank you to Future Motion for throwing on this amazing event. I feel so special to have been part of it. And if you want to see more about this race in even greater detail, Future Motion has an hour-long documentary about this race on their YouTube channel. Link in the description. Check it out if you're interested. To all the other writers, I'm glad to call you guys friends now. See you next year because you know what? I have been training non-stop since the end of this race for next year. I will see you then. Until then though, subscribe to Quarter Crew, hit that like button, and maybe you'll see us turning our friends' heads into ice cubes. <laughs> <laughs> My head! Yeah, your head! No! <laughs>